Hello everybody, Reggie Time here and today we're going to be taking another look at the underground poker scene. Um, we're playing on a U poker site where I um, have some affiliate action. If you sign up to this site through me, you will get 30% flat rate back. It's not volume dependent whether you play 1000 hands a week or 50,000 hands a week. Which is unlikely, but um, you know what I mean. It doesn't matter how what what your volume is, large or small, you get your flat thirty percent rate back. If you are a high raking player, there's every chance that that could be negotiated to give you a bigger bigger percentage of your action. That wouldn't be done through me. That would be done through the club manager. But um, I think larger percentages are available for high raking players. So please do get in touch if you are currently playing on the mainstream sites and bored of them basically uh, bored of playing in bad games with shit rewards then get in touch because on this site you get to play in good games with decent rewards I mean 30% rate back it's not it's not peaked but it was like back in back in the golden years where you 50, 60, 70% was available on iPoker but um, you know we live in different times now what are we doing here with this I've got some Back I'm going to float here and raise good turns. I think versus the fish. That uh, isn't a good turn. Um, yeah, so we'll get back to get back to the spam. Then we can get into the talking more about poker. If you are, um, like I said, just repeating myself now. I suppose if you are playing on stars, AAA, party poker, even Sky now, because I believe Sky is not as good as it used to be. I haven't played that in weeks. Um, and you want to regularly get to play in much better games and get some decent rewards for your play and you haven't looked at one of these sites yet please please do give me a shout um customer satisfaction has been very good so far been a couple of people have come along and they've not really got to go to the software not enjoyed it and um decided it's not for them of course that's that's going to happen but in terms of like the the service that I provide the service the manager provides um, rate back paid in full on time uh, deposits swiftly process withdrawal swiftly process etc um, everything's done manually um, it's not a big organization like the big sites where it's all kind of done automatically so um, it does allow us to give a much more personal service so um, yeah not much else to say really other than enjoy the games look at uh, take a look at the video we're going to look on the tables in a moment and see just how many fish we've got and how many like relatively loose regulars there are and then then you can make your mind up yourself watch the video see the game see how they play and make your mind up and if you want to get in touch contact me via all the contact details beneath the videos um my third method is through Facebook because it's much easier to put you in touch with the club manager through Facebook to set your account up. But if you don't have Facebook, that's fine. We can do it through email or Skype. Um, all my contact details are can be found beneath the video. If you do want to join up, um, sign up to the Facebook group, send me a message and we'll get you signed up or email me. So now that's out of the way. Let's see what we've got here. I know this dude's a fish already because I was playing him with him earlier. So we can tag here 48 V pip, um, knit, 80 V pip, whale, another nitty type player, and kind of normalish regular. So we have two whales, three regulars, and me at this table. Um, next table here, what do we have? 46 V pip, 34, 28, and 24 so not the greatest of tables by you poker standards but we do have direct position 200 big blinds deep on the player that we are kind of at the table for and what do we have at this table we have an 81 v pip a 24 59 34 and 60 so this table's very juicy at the moment did get felted earlier by this dude so we're down at this table quite a big chunk we got um he had the nut flush with the second nut flush in a three bet pot 
And um, he got the lot, which is unfortunate for me, but that's poker. I would have captured that on video, but um, it appeared that I was recording without, well, without checking whether the mic was muted. So, I've lost about 20 minutes of footage this morning. We had to start again, which is frustrating because we lost the footage. Frustrating because we got felted for 195 chips or whatever it was. Uh, Straddle, we like that. So we have a whale coming to the table and immediately straddling. It's a new feature that's been added to the site over the last week or so, the, the option to straddle. Um, if I'm in games where multiple people are straddling, I'll get involved and join in. It's, it's negative EV to straddle in general, but if lots of people are doing it, then um, I'm more than happy to play along and, and get involved. It's definitely good for the games, that's for sure. Having the option for players to straddle. Sadly, no pair, no draw means that we're going to be checking out this time. We'll add a few more chips on this table, make sure we have the players we want to have covered, covered. check something with my second bed depending on how big this dude makes it if he chooses to bet bigger he bets the less likely I am to call certainly calling a five chip bet keep check calling whilst he's making it small if he upsizes at any point I'll probably let it go this game's play pretty passively post flop, and usually a big bet is indication of strength. I'm gonna make it like a blocking bet here. Don't really want to be check calling, but he maybe, maybe he has like a jack ten queen ten type hand, and maybe calls a small bet. Sadly, the 600 big blind whalers quit this table, but um, we'll keep it going for now. If this player leaves, then we'll probably leave too. Small check race. Let's see a ace, please, dealer. Very nice. Thank you very much. Very kind of you. He bets really small. We have to race here uh, because we have the nuts and he can have some hands. But I suspect we're going to see a fold a lot of the time here when we do raise. Hopefully he's doing something funky with the small bets to induce. Nope, he wasn't, but never mind. I'm not gonna try and isolate the straddle with just five high. Very good size and tell on this guy, small. Check race, top peg, good kicker, block, fold, turn, over cat. That is a nice, nice, nice note to have.
can be one and done here with the king queen on a board that is good for our range but not our hand and now we're just going to shut down Queen changed a miserable hand when facing a 3-bet, so we'll um, check out, even though it's tempting to be involved because of Mr. Shivas. We would not have got there. Do like the rabbit hunt feature on, on the site. Do we want to play the 8-5 suited? If Shanks comes, then we're coming, but we're not coming for a 3-bet. I do find these games very sexy most of the time. Uh, they are definitely comparable to Sky. If it, the, the best times to play on this site are probably from like 7 a.m. UK time through to 9 p.m. UK time because a lot of the players are based out in the Far East, um, who are eight hours ahead of us in the UK. So if you're the type of player who typically likes to play from 10 p.m. onwards, maybe it won't be the best time for you because you will struggle to get good volume. But if you are um, a daytime and early evening time player, then the games will definitely suit your schedule. Um, and the games are definitely comparable to Sky, at least as good as Sky with, with the rate back. Um, sorry, as good as Sky, but then you get the rate back on top, which is obviously... In, an added bonus. We're going to peel the 10 7 suited here with Shanks, who appears to be particularly active. I'm going to be calling at least once here. We're not going to be betting. Couldn't stand a raise. Um, but yeah, we might want to protect against some like, random overcards, but we've only got a pair of sevens. I'm not going to go too crazy on trying to protect that type of hand, that type of holding. And we're very likely going to lose this pot now on that run out. Pocket tens. Surprised you didn't see bet. I'd expect a player like this to see bet two tens there on that board. Second pair and a good shot. Thunderbird. What are you? You're an aggressive ish regular. Keep me on you, sir. But the game quality is very good. Last week I made. I think it was around 12 buy-ins in maybe 20 or so hours of play, plus my rate back, so it was a very good week for me. I think since I started playing on the site in November-ish last year, I think I've made maybe 40-odd buy-ins. I haven't checked after last week yet for my like overall results, but um, yeah, my results have been as good as they were on Sky, and I've played quite badly at times, as I've kind of been getting used to the different style of play on the site. Um, I think I've been calling too often versus bets, versus large bets especially, and um, maybe bluffing a little bit too much too, trying to like bluff passive players off capped ranges it's just not been folding i'm adjusting much better to the site now i feel i've got a much better handle on the games um my overall strategy is 
to, to lean towards um, post flop over folding and under bluffing. It's a pretty basic strategy for, for beating really fishy games. I was When I came to the site, I was trying to play much more of a not GTO strategy because I'm inter not interested in GTO, I haven't studied it, but trying to play a more balanced game, making sure that I was like defending certain parts of my range versus etc, like certain sizes etc and it wasn't working out as well as just kind of playing more exploitably uh, typically works for me so um, yeah, it took me a short while to adjust, I had a good start then I had a pretty rough couple of weeks where I didn't make a lot of money and now it feels like um, I'm right back on track. So most of my play isn't going to be close to G2 approved or even well balanced. Because I'm mostly focusing on playing pots with fish and against fish. I try and just take the most exploitable highest EV line in the vacuum. And um, not worry too much about protecting my ranges so much. I'm going to peel here the pre moderate situation but two limpers and then a whales raised out of the small blind so there's your position on the razor don't get a great flop I'm not going to be looking to call any big bets here probably going to be looking to peel one not in love with it but we do have a pair and some backdoor equity so uh, for that bet size, feel obliged to at least see a turn. And what a good turn it is. I'm going to really hope someone has an AC or a flush draw. We're going to go with a very large bet size in. No black. Beautiful. As Norman Chad says, Deuce never changes anything on the river. We're going to go for the lot here. We get the fold, but never mind, we'll take it. Probably lucky a black one didn't come given how quickly you check folded. when a green tag decides to come and join the party <clears throat> so it's currently 10 16 a.m we have three pretty good tables running at 25 and l probably could have more if we open more more tables got to be quite pleased with the situation delighted to face a far better here but I guess we'd um, still be involved there we get the fold which is disappointed and it's going to start leading out here with our open end during the limped pot and we get another Green tag player joining. Beautiful. Um, five pairs. He shouldn't have too many fives. We do pick up a flush draw to go with our open ender. I guess I just stab again. And we get pretty crummy run out. We're not going to be bluffing here. We're just going to be giving up.
normally I would have four or five tables running and I would try and record playing four or five tables but sadly when I have five instances of the client open and I have my screen recording software running it does place a little bit too much strain on my computer and um, it runs but um, you know it just starts getting a little bit jerky and a little bit laggy so we're just going to settle down with the three tables for now I, if you play from a desktop and you want to create some accounts um, then I would strongly recommend opening multiple accounts and spreading your money across them um, so if you were going to deposit I'd say oh, I'm going to put 20, 20 buy-ins on I would say well let's open three or four accounts and let's just put five buy-ins across each so, um, and then if, if for example you don't do very well on one account, lose some chips, but do very well on another. All you need to do is contact me or the club manager and we can quickly move chips between accounts for you to keep your accounts balanced so you stay in action on all accounts. Um, if you're going to play on a, on a tablet or an iPad or your phone or something, then it's um, much more sensible just to have one account uh, because um, it's very easy to multi-table four from a tablet. But if you're trying to multi-table four from a a desktop the tables go a bit too small and um it's just much easier to have multiple accounts and do it that way it's all approved by site management multi-accounting is not something that you get punished for on on this network i guess that might worry some people but um i haven't seen anything dubious yet i mean if people are going to cheat on any site you mean you, you can cheat it's multi accounting is not as to me it's not the biggest issue in online poker not by a long chalk um you know there's nothing stopping you but if i wanted to cheat on poker stars with somebody in collude or what have you i wouldn't need multiple accounts to do it i'd just need a telephone and, and we could easily do it i think we're just going to call here we're going to three bet with the king 10 but we want this gain in the big blind too we don't want to be freezing people out of the pot and we want to flop trips which is pretty nice. How often do you see bets, sir? Uh, kinda want a donk there, but it's just that like, what's gonna call? You've kinda got the board crushed at the moment. Sadly, it checks through, so we're gonna have to start doing our own our own donkey work now. Up two callers, no green, please. Another Norman Shad deuce on the river that never changes anything. I think I could be tempted to check here sometimes and let someone take a stab at a bluff. But in multi way pots, it's going to check through way too often, um, which I really don't want to happen. So we just end up betting and taking it down, which is disappointing, but. Again, when you have the board that badly crushed, you know it's 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 hard to get tons of value unless someone's in there with a pocket nines or a worse ten or something. Again, we could three bit here, but I really enjoy keeping stamp in the pot, so we're just going to call again. Stamp goes for the min squeeze, which is. An interesting line. Let's flop trips again, please. Okay, double good shot. We can work with that. We can work with double good shots as long as he doesn't like blast too much. I'd love to see a free card here. We're not going to get to see a free card, but six chips, virtually a free card, isn't it? Let's go, king. King. Yes. Uh. Could be a troublesome card. Wouldn't want to see a big bet and a big call here. That would make me nervous. Don't raise. Do not raise.
Just give us a king. Don't fuck around. Six. I think there's a big bet coming from one of these two here, and I think we're going to fold to it. At least we're in position. Wouldn't want to be in the middle of position here. That would suck. If he like bet five, we called then someone behind us put a raise in. That would make me sick. Um, I'm just going to take my show down here. Lots of ways we can be beat here with our hands that just don't want to bet. Some like weaker two pairs, etc. Oh, sorry, not weaker two pairs. Some two pairs that are quite weak. Eight, ten, queen, ten, that type of thing. Will we win? We managed to turn the ace check into a winner versus a hand that had us absolutely dominated. Notes are really important on sites where you bump into a lot of very recreational players. It's really important to like pick up on sizing leaks that they may have. King, Queen Ace. This guy checked back a flush versus me earlier, so. I'd, but then he seems aggressive in other spots, so I haven't really got a handle on this player yet, other than I know he's absolutely diabolical. But I don't really know what's going on with him. We're going to value bet here. And probably value bet the river too. Small. Six. Six fifty seems a good number. Uh, he snap folds. We'll take that there. Being out of position with the marginal holdings, always nice to take it down. Something I've started doing on this site is using smaller raise sizes from early position um, and then just increasing my bet size towards the button. That allows us to play more hands from early position. Whilst keeping the pot reasonably small, we're obviously going to go for check raise here with our top set. No, we're not, because he's just not going to bet. Fortunately, the pot's like the effective stack size here. Losing a street of value isn't going to hurt us too badly. I see a clean river, please. Don't want to see a jack, a nine. Or a red one. So we were getting down some good river bricks, aren't we, today? You can't argue with the quality of the river bricks that we're receiving. This deep, we need to defend the ace eight suited. It's clearly a miserable hand to defend versus a three bet with. But given stack depth and the fact Shanks is coming in, then we want to be going to see a flop. We're going to be very, very careful on this board. We're not going to be looking to put too much money in. Not going to defend King Jack versus a 47 slash 3. Do we stab this turn if Shanks checks? Well, Shanks doesn't check, so that's all good. Shanks just decides to bet almost two X pots, so we'll take that from Shanks. And thank him for making life easy for us. Didn't know Shanks was going to raise there. Who didn't know that? If you didn't know Shanks was going to raise there, 
then you are an idiot. It was the most obvious thing that's ever going to happen in the history of obvious things. Limp, isolate. And three bit seems appropriate here with the ace queen. Um, I think peeling seems appropriate here with the fish in the small blind. And just let the eight go. Not much going on here with our 6 4 suited, unfortunately. So we're going to need to let it go. We've got some backdoor potential. If this guy was deeper stacked here, if we were all 200 blinds deep, it would be a quite an easy peel, but without backdoors. But as it is, the guy we're most likely to make chips from should we hit a backdoor monster. Um, doesn't have enough chips for us to make it worth our while. And this plate doesn't reload then we're going to pause the video and um, find another table because we have like some nate who's got no money another nate and someone who seems like a reasonable regular so we're going to quit this table and pause the video and find another one if a hand happens in the meantime whilst we're paused i shall make sure to unpause the video So we've slid a 10 and L table in over here in the table 3 slot. I was hoping to find a 25 and L table, but um, there wasn't anything decent. There's like about 5 or 6 tables running. Most of them are full. The only one that wasn't full was not that great. Let me see bit here with our open ender. Plus back doors and overs. Turn the notes, which is always nice. And the king's going to be a scare card to a lot of his range, but we're just going to go big and hope he's in the part of his range that can call a decent sized bet. Sadly, it wasn't. And when he's just in there with like an ace nine, an ace seven, a, that type of hand there, or some shitty ten. The king is going to act as a scare card, but if he does have any traps that he's, that he's got, like his two pairs and his sets and things, then I want to make sure we're getting maximum value from them. When, when, when I turn the nuts against the fish, I'm not looking to make smallish bets to get calls from at the bottom of their check calling range. I'm willing to sacrifice EV against those parts of the range to make sure I make the maximum from from the stuff that isn't folding almost regardless of bet size and on this side they can just have some random peels there as well that I'm just going to fold the ranges are going to be pretty weak in general they're not going to be check calling too much too many of the hands so really don't think it's a good idea there to like downsize and make like a third pot size bet just to try and cajole them along because I've seen so many like loose call downs like loose floats and maybe he's turned a king there with something you know that's just floated loosely they just don't fold for any price and and what have you and people like slow playing some pretty strong hands too that it just it doesn't make sense to have a, a small turn sizing very often 
<clears throat> Given we've got some good tables, we're going to go a bit longer than our what is now our normal 45 minute session length. Who knows how long the video will be? I guess till they get bored. We're going to go at least an hour, so at least another 25 minutes, and then um, see how I feel. Then I've got a couple of things I could do with doing this morning. But um, nothing that can't wait till the afternoon if, if I'm enjoying myself hugely. Or I mean, games that don't really warrant leaving. If it was all turned on tables, I would just be making the video and quitting. But given we have two pretty good 25 hour tables, kind of want to stick around a bit if I can. I wonder if that's a player that have signed up recently. Talked to somebody called Zach recently. He might be the guy. try and make more than one video a week now we've got the Christmas period out of the way and I have the house back to myself in the mornings um, hopefully going to be making at least two videos a week, possibly more pretty much depending on what time I get up in the morning and whether Donald Trump, Donald Trump and Boris Johnson have conspired to get us all blown off the face of the fucking earth don't think it's likely, but you never know. You just never know. It's a crazy, crazy world out there. Time's lunch in the cricket. I might play until after lunch in the cricket and then go up my mum's have a coffee with her and watch a little bit of the afternoon session. Google will be my friend here, won't it? Or BBC Sport. They started, no, I don't need to, because they start at 8.30 every morning. And the morning session is usually two and a half hours, isn't it? So that is 11 o'clock, isn't it? So if I play till maybe 11, quarter past 11-ish, and um, call it a day, which is like another 30, yeah, we'll play another 35 minutes unless the games go bad. And then um, we'll have a brew and watch some cricket. Pretty dry flop here, we're going to make a small stab. Barrel good turns. Eh? Theoretically, that's a good turn, but we're not going to barrel it. Because I just don't trust these people to fold. If it was a spade, or a six, or a three, or it's something that actually improved us to a decent draw, I would have borrowed for sure. But I mean, it's going to be disappointing when this dude just shows us like the fucking King Ten or the King Jack here. I think he bets a queen on the river. Do we just bluff now? Pretty sure he bets a queen on the river. I'm going to bet. Like six, just to get him off like better high cards that floated. Pocket threes, never mind. <clears throat> that is why you do not catch me bluffing very much on this. I mean, my line was shit there. And you probably shouldn't be folding pocket threes very often. Um, versus a line that wasn't really that good, but. It still it, it does explain why I don't do an awful lot of bluffing on this site, and I do make 
a decent amount of money from thinner value bets. I wasn't really expecting him to fall too many one pair hands there. To be fair, we were just literally trying to get him off. King 10, King Jack, Jack 10, stuff like that. All the stuff that we can't beat but can't call a bet. Which is why we didn't go for a big size. We just, for the parts of the, his range of trying to get him to fold. We don't need to use a big size. And who knows, maybe he even calls with King Jack there. I mean, there isn't a huge amount of difference between pocket threes and king jack there really whether he realises that or not who knows but I was watching um, Spraggy last night and he had a particularly disappointing session which is a shame because i do like him i like his style i like his stream um but he was like thoroughly thoroughly depressed and then he started hosting another streamer who was thoroughly 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 depressed and it's like fucking hell like so many depressed people playing poker now spraggy typically isn't depressed so it's not fair to class him as that but i was just like sat there thinking I speak to so many people who are just like so fed up with 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 poker in general and um they don't seem to have much fun with it and it's a shame because it's, it's a fun game when poker was in its boom you know there was people there out, out there making money trying to make money trying to like take it seriously but loads of players that were literally just playing for fun too and just like enjoying it like losing but not really caring and just enjoying the fact they were they were playing a fun game I think these these games, these sites, kind of bring a little bit of that back in terms of um, how much fun some of the people seem to be having. The games just aren't full of like the, the really gnarled, long in the tooth, cynical, bitter regulars. You know, you don't see a lot of abuse in the chat box. The fish seem to have a good time. They're quite happy just like randomly throwing snowmen at each other. And what have you. Um, yeah, the, it's hard to fun into online poker as such. Because, you know, it's it's not a very social environment. But um certainly seems to be a bit more fun going on in, on this, on these like mobile networks than there is on the mainstream sites. Not really sure why a 3-bet tends here. Um, Cause I kind of put myself in a shitty spot now. Not enjoying this spot. So what can he have? He's a regular. Don't think he's going to see bet kings and queens very often on that flop. Maybe he might do with that sizing though. Don't think he's going to check an ace on the turn very often. Not much to protect against with the turns of like if he's got king queen, stuff like that. Don't think there's much value in betting here. He's not going to fold a better hand. Not enough hands are what I try and deny equity to. The queen's a pretty shitty card. I think he has kings, and I don't think he's going to fold. That's what I think is going on. He's either got kings that isn't going to fold, or he's got like an ace five suited type hand. Or air. Kings, weak ace, air. That's my read. King six suited. That's the air part covered then.
So, all bet six suited BVP, C bet small. then but it's good enough Then I don't know why I checked my bloody jack. Kind of made the hand difficult to play now. <sighs> Gonna bet twice with the jacks if he calls for value. Middle table isn't looking too clever anymore. Now Shanks quit, didn't notice he went. We have stamp we will remain as I've talked about before. I'm not a huge fan of staying in games where they're built around one wheel. I'm especially not a big fan of staying in games built around one wheel when that particular wheel has direct position on me. But when it's an 81 V pip, I'm willing to make an exception to that to that flaky rule. It's not a flaky rule, it's a good rule, but um. It's, I'm certainly applying it liberally at this table. In position, it wouldn't even be a question of do we quit the table or not, but out of position, it's almost worth considering. We have a set. We don't block top pair. We do block some flush draws. I do with my bluffs on this turn. I'm just going to bet pretty big. <clears throat> no red one, please. Diamond's not ideal, but we're not folding now. Only 50 blinds left. It's going to be a lot harder to get value now, but it's still a crystal clear jam. And if it's backed into something, then fuck my life. Guess he just had hearts there, or maybe a jack. 
Well, I suspect that Jack probably just says fuck it and calls a river. <coughs> Checking back here with the two queens. I'm not going to be too excited about calling large river bets. That's the nuts on the A-side board with a whale, so we're going to go with the other bet. Have to call this bet size. It's going to lose a lot here, but um, have to call. <coughs> a little bit of thin value there. Attempt from Zach D. Disappointed we didn't get any action with our straight, but we flopped the nuts on an A-side board with a whale in the pot, and there's only three blinds in it, so... We're just going to try and, well, try and do what we did. Didn't work, but if he's not calling five, he's probably not calling three either. Really not impressed with this table. I mean, the regulars aren't good. I mean, you got this dude here. I mean, he's a fish. He can be tagged. I mean, it's showing him as a winning player over a small sample, but he's clearly a fish. Not reloading. 40v pip. <coughs> the guess shows what a nit time with game selection, doesn't he? I mean, most people would be delighted with this table. I mean, you've got a. 81 v pip and a 40 v pip and there's me mourning about it because I am pretty much a fucking uber nit at game selection <clears throat> but it's also a testament to the tables that I know can be found on this club uh, when I'm not super happy with it The bird's not having the best of sessions, is he bless him? <clears throat> Down 217 blinds, not where you want to be in life. Not where you want to be. job done is it? Can't make fun videos with fucking Queen Deuces getting dealt to you.
could add, start doing some straddling for 10 minutes. Yeah, we'll, we'll straddle for the rest of the video, I think. <coughs> if as long as I don't forget. If there's an auto straddle button to check, let's just check if there is. There isn't. But um, when I remember, we're going to do some straddling. Maybe we'll get lucky. Maybe we'll straddle, we'll get dealt pocket aces. Wouldn't that be sweet? And take kings at a push. Love to see a <clears throat> seven deuce bounty game added. That'd be sweet too. I got no like a five chip, five chip seven deuce bounty. Keeping my eyes peeled for those straddle opportunities. Well, it would have been one here if he, uh, well, didn't. If it gave me the chance, I missed it. And that shouldn't have been a three. Oh, yes, it should, because we're affected with it. Could nope, it should have been a min raise. Not a good flop to see, but into a to a fish. So we're just going to check. Call a small bet. Four to a large bet. Ace Queen's probably the best hand here. I think we're going to check Cobb if he bets now. <laughs> oh, I think I had to check Call this river. I'm going to, but I'm much less inclined to. his back doors but we'll take a stab anyway gonna give up now it's caught twice on oh, with the board. It's got a king and a queen on it, so gonna give him credit for having something that's unlikely to fold. Small race fold here with the lawful house. Could be thin actually. Guess we'll just try to target what King X that doesn't believe us, Jack Queen maybe. 
is that not to make the turn? Don't know. And maybe touch ambitious there. Right, I'm going to get a chance to straddle middle table next hand, so be aware of it, Reggie. Be aware the straddle button's coming. I think at this point, our friend Thunderbird's going to be a little bit tilted. Nothing which has gone his way. That raise on the river is bound to be irritated in there. Whether it's bluffing or value betting or what, no one likes getting raised on the river. It's bound to have just added to his to his ire. Poker god. Huh? I don't think so, sir. I don't think you are if you're playing 50 slash 10. Straddle is on. <coughs> Be good to me. That's not the fucking reward you want for straddling, is it? Fucking six deuce. I'm done with this straddle until next time we get the fucking chance. Eight, please. Not a bad second prize. Pick up the open ender. Six to we on the straddle. Behave yourself. We'll do one more straddle at each table if we get the chance and then wrap the video up. That seems to be good timing. So there'll be the straddle and then quit this table next. Etc. etc. Straddle is on on table one, giving up with the ace king on table three. Uh, we had the six two, we now we had the five three. That's not what you want in when you're straddling, is it? So this is going to be an end to this table now. Table one is going to be biting the dust. Mm-mm. 
<clears throat> now we're going to have one more fun hand before the end. Good chance we're going to be V pipping the 8 6. Still a good chance we're going to be V pipping the 8 6. Although we may as well not have fucking bothered because that flop is not conducive to make him money with the 8-6. We're prepared to straddle middle table next hand. We're there, we're poised, we're ready to um, to get dealt another unsuited low card combination. to see a three coming through the window here please three ball nope absolutely not no interest in giving me a set straddle is live on table two deuces at least it's a fucking pair but the six do the five three and the deuces and last straddle incoming. What are we getting? Ten nine suited. So at least two playable hands for our negative EV straddling enterprise. Uh, we're not going to get to see if we can flop a set with the deuces. That's gone tits up. Large raise out of the small blind. We're seeing a flop. Kevin, let's see a flop. Yeah. Oh, I didn't want to post a blind here. Fuck it. It's time to blind it up. Just... We're abandoning the nine deuce. Letting our child die out there. Come on, black one. Black one. Let's see a deuce of spades. Ah, oh, king of arts. Straddling didn't work out well for us, did it? Let's get that clear. Straddling was significantly negative EV. And we'll call it a day. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, hope you've got a good feel for how good the games are on this site please please do get in touch if you were thinking about it and you have any questions before you commit um i'm more than happy to have a chat with you before you sign up and talk you through how to protect yourself how to try and get in the good games etc and um yeah we're delighted to hear from you if you don't want to sign up then i hope you've enjoyed the video anyway take care everybody good luck not dying in world war three and hopefully we'll be back later in the week with another video bye bye for now